Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and over. So, this is the next part of making the actual sugar cookies that are edibles, cannabis edibles. And I use decarboxylated cannabis to make these cookies. That's what we're doing. Um, please catch the, the videos before this, the one specifically about how to decarboxylate cannabis. And you'll know why that I decided to try this method. Um, <clears throat> before we get into the last phases of this video series, <laughs> Um, I had some of the decarboxylated cannabis, uh, like Keef, on, that was left on the uh, parchment paper. And so I decided to put it in my bowl and just smoke it. So, cheers. spicy so yeah let me bring you over to the counter where all the action's going to go down <laughs> um first thing i'm going to do <coughs> let's tell you that <coughs> i found this recipe from <coughs> oh, holy holy moly i found this recipe from this website called all Resp i mean from this website called all recipes and um i found a lot of my recipes there it's a simple sugar cookie recipe, but you know I adapt it with the cannabis. So I use one cup of butter, which is what I'm going to do. But let's do this step by step. First, we're going to do. You want to get a bowl, and this bowl is going to uh, mix your flour, and you're going to want two and three fourths cup of flour. So you're going to need a lot of flour. Um, when we go to the store. There'll be something, I'm sure you guys know about it, called a crash bin. You know, items where the cans have been dented or <laughs> the bags have been ripped. So they end, into, they end up in what's called a crash bin. And the price of the items are reduced. So if you ever come across that at your grocery store, check it out. See, it might be something in there you can actually use and it'll be cheaper. That makes baking and cooking a lot more affordable too. That's just a little tip passing your way. So, makes things stretch longer. It's nice to have extra flour too because then you can make um, you can make bread if you want. Pizza, pizza dough. I'll be right back. Okay, so you got the two and three fourths cup of flour. So next what you're gonna wanna put in is one teaspoon of baking soda. So, let's add some baking soda here. Okay. And I like to use actual teaspoon measurements, you know, measure. So you get the right measurements. Not too much, not too little. And then next what we're going to put in the bowl is, um, is it the salt. Let's see. Baking soda flour. Yep, salt. So how much salt? A half a teaspoon of salt. So... And I'll show you all of this once I have it all in the bowl. You're going to mix, you, it's like what you're doing is you're mixing up the dry ingredients first and then you blend up the wet ingredients and then you add the dry ingredients slowly to the wet ingredients. That's, that's how every basic, so this is all the stuff, the baking soda, the salt, and the flour. So you just mix it up as evenly as you can for a little bit. See that? And then... Put that to the side. Just put it over on the side here. And uh, I forgot to tell you guys, make sure you're preheating your oven to like 325 or 350. If your oven runs hot, uh, maybe do it at 320. And my oven runs hot, so I put it at like about 320 or 325 or 330 sometimes. 
So yeah, so the next step we're going to do is we're going to mix up the wet ingredients. So I need to grab out some, um, some eggs and some sugar. Sugar's not a wet ingredient, I know. <laughs> it's, not, it's the only non-wet ingredient involved in this. So what you're going to do is you're going to cream the sugar and the butter together. So, so yeah. Let me turn this mixer and pour it out of the way. There. Might help if I plugged it up. <laughs> Let's pull the mixer up. Pour it out of the water. All right, so we're gonna have how many cups of sugar do we need here? Two cups of sugar. You can use uh, brown sugar if you want to, but white sugar is fine too. I usually use white sugar, but if I don't have white sugar, I use brown sugar. That's one cup going in the mixer, and another cup. So here we go, that's another cup. That makes two cups. Uh, here we go. And then we're going to put the butter, we're going to put the cannabis butter in there. I'm just going to put it in there right out of the pot. It's cooled off and everything. See that? Here we go. So we're going to pour that in with the sugar. And so it's going to mix together with the butter and sugar until it gets creamy. So we we'll do that right now. I just pour it right in there and then I'll put the attachment onto the beater to the mixer. Hopefully you guys have a mixer at home. We were able to be fortunate enough to find this at the thrift store, this KitchenAid. So if you look around, you may be able to find appliances and things that can help you in your day to day. So we go. Okay, and we're going to mix this up thoroughly so it gets good and creamy. I'll show you what it looks like here. Let's bring this over here. So yeah, this is what it looks like. You're going to want to, yeah, you're going to want to get it to a creamy texture. Where it's not uh, lumpy. Where it's like, you know, smooth. And we're going to like, get it really smooth and then slowly add our, uh, bring over here. Slowly add our flour, baking soda, and salt mixture to it. So while we're waiting for that to get mixed up, we can take a little smoke break here. And here we go. <clears throat> so yeah, it's coming along pretty smoothly. Um, it's a basic recipe. Like I said, you could find it off online. It's called allrecipes.com. You can use them or you can just use, find a recipe of sugar cookies that you like. And um, I've done a recipe for chocolate chip cookies, cannabis chocolate chip cookies. And if you want it, you can adapt it that way and just throw chocolate chips in there. Also, uh, what I've been thinking about doing is making them into uh, lemon cookies. And what you do is you take some lemons, you uh, grate the lemon peel off of the lemon. And then, you don't need a lot of it. Maybe, maybe like a tablespoon's worth and you add it into your dough as it's mixing and then you add like I'd say maybe two teaspoons of lemon juice and it just adds a little hint of tartness to that sweet cookie so but don't do that with don't mix like don't, don't mix like lemon zest with like chocolate chip cookies I don't think that would be a good combination <laughs> So what I was smoking on was the keef from the decarboxylated cannabis from the last video. So yeah, cheers. Tastes a little bit different. Well, because it's been pre-cooked, <laughs> pre-scorch. But um, I don't know. For some reason, it does feel a little bit stronger. I don't know if that's just. Maybe I have to just smoke more to really find out. <laughs> okay, let's go over to the mixing uh, bowl and see how it's going. Because like I said, we're going to add the um, flour next. <coughs> <coughs> so we go. 
the over here. There. Okay, we're going to put the flour in 